Texas Hall of Fame, too. I don't know if he's... I didn't know that. that. I was, uh, well, he should be in there. And I'm, I'm happy for him, of course. Well, let's get into uh, business. All there. righty, Coach. Well, in this week's university feature, we will meet another of our student athletes who will tell us something about his major course of study and his major extracurricular activity. I'm Maurice Miles of the University of Alabama basketball team. Basketball season starts very soon here. And here's a listing of the games we'll be playing in Tuscaloosa. All of us on the basketball team appreciate the support you've given us in the past. We know we can count on you for the same kind of support during the 1981-82 season. The Southeastern Conference may be the toughest conference in the country for basketball, so we're going to need all the help you can give us. We hope you'll be in the stands as often as possible. You will see some very good basketball. I'm excited about our basketball team, and I'm excited about the education I'm getting at Alabama. My major is computer science and engineering. The hands-on experience I'm getting with the sophisticated computer equipment and the instructions I'm getting in the classroom should lead to an exciting career in high technology. I chose the university for a solid education and for a chance to play competitive big-time basketball. I know I made the right choice. I'm proud to be a student at the University of Alabama for 150 years, Alabama's first university. I'll tell you, we're proud to have that young man. We better. He'd be taking my job. He's pretty slick with that one, he goes. He's here more of that duty. <laughs> coach, I know that uh, the uh, Will Houston up in Tuscaloosa. Oh, he's, he's a great friend. Well, I do uh, understand he's ill, and we certainly he in the uh, thoughts and prayers, and uh, hope he's enjoying this. It's a good thing for him. Uh, I'd like to mention that next Saturday night at the Coliseum in Tuscaloosa, the Commodores will be in concert at 8, 8 p.m. and tickets on sale. It's sponsored by the University Program Council. So they're last night. 
Well, we had the Beach Boys last night. Oh, you did that? The Commodores. <laughs> the Commodores are from Tuskegee. They're, they're an outstanding group. We'll be back for the third quarter of action following these messages from our sponsors. These young folk are a lot smarter about retirement than we ever were back on the Mississippi. We're using these tax-deductible individual retirement accounts. They know what it takes to retire on nowadays. You put an IRA together with Social Security, and you get what you call a real retirement. And I ought to know, because I've been retired for a long time. Central Bank, member FDIC. Let's swing another dead end, Clem. Wait just a dead place, Billy. What's this? <laughs> Golden flake cheese nugget. Gold? Gold? Give it. It's long mine. No matter how long you search, you won't find a fresher, crisper, lighter taste than Golden Flake Cheese Nugget. Good as gold. Starting third quarter, Mississippi State will be kicking off the Crimson Tide. First time we received to start in the second half this year. That's not a very good place to receive. I think that's kicking kick the best kick he's kicked all year. Paul okay. Cruz running with the football then. Find Bob Caviac, Victor, Doug Victor, Steve Mott, Mark Scott. Find running in by. King of Silence, no deal. I mean, for Montgomery. Two great kicks in and passes the ball to Lewis. To Joey Jones. To Joey Jones. Jones. George Carter has to be able to be. Now, this was going to be a pass, and then it turned into a run, and then it turned into a throw. They have the football. That's the first heaven. Fine defensive play there, though. Jones and Pitts. He was open. He was in a perfect pass. He was conceding to it. He climbed fast in. He threw that ball low and line dry when he was going by people. Dan Jackson is pretty, doing it pretty well here. Eddie Lowe. Eddie Lowe. He went to jump with. That guards do an excellent job. They have fine pulling guards. Reminds me of the General Neyland Day. That goes for the first down. They picked it up. It's fourth and one. Major Ogilvy was at the game. I didn't see him. I'm sure he was dead. That man only said she had a nice day with him. Don't find that. Lyle's Lyle's are back in there. Then he penetrated real well. One and Lyle. One and Lyle. One again. For the big play. And so so let's go for the field goal here. A great effort. Cast field in. Great effort by the outfit. Try to block. So we take over. They miss it. Back to pass. Takes the eye off the ball. A little behind. Got the guy is swinging the plastic around there. We throw the ball to him again. We'll take over. We backed up there from in the ball. I tell you, it's hard to believe. First down. They have it down. Here they come. Great play there. Great play with Jim Bob Harris. I kind of thought they interfered with him, the receiver. One step there. Tommy would have had that one. Here comes a big defensive play by Jim Bob. He's back to throw again. And there's somebody that oh. helped him, too. Put a little rush on him. Intercepts by Jim Bob Harris. Somebody put the rush on back there. I don't know who it was. Randy, I believe, folks. Randy Edwards. We get a ball on our four on the 40-yard line now. I think great the quarterback. They do a great job. Come through and throw us for a loss. Pull out back to you. Run the sweep this time. Mickey Ginger, the freshman from Atlanta, running with the ball. Aaron Gray back to pass. We swung the ball. They get it again. Time at our 25. We had our 25. So we started over. We had our other bunch in there then. Mark Jackson. 
Well, but that bingo, that's the way you take the ball away from him. Who the hell is Bobby Jones, Robbie Jones? Bobby was covered the football. Man, it took it away from him. Kenny Cole is in there now. He's injured. Kenny almost two out of his first three plays, but I don't think we won again without him. Without any of them, they all did well. We fumbled again here. I think they called that one because he had it. Somebody forward for the first down. Yeah, very fortunate. Patrick. Bring it back to running with the ball, and they didn't do anything. A little fine running in to get anywhere by Kenny Coley from here in Birmingham. Kenny, you had the wrong way in. Malcolm is back kicking again. They kind of let up a little bit. This is almost went for touchdown. I right? wasn't one of those big right? Kenny Clark. Kenny Clark made the play. He made a big play. I didn't. He was injured all week, Jimmy didn't get to practice. Russwood? Russwood, I'd say, had been appearing and almost knocked that ball out of his hand. I, I remember that from the bench. He didn't play a rush in his pass. Bobby Robinson was by the other day and saw Bunk Hartpool. I haven't seen Bunk in a while. Glad to see him. Pull out backfield. Kenny Patrick running with the football. Anderson Jasper in his sophomore. He get outside this time. Then he's fighting for that first down. I don't know whether he's got it or not. Yes, sir, he did. He didn't know whether he put the ball. Dr. Gary Phillips put it the game. I didn't see him. So was Jimmy Sharp. I didn't see him. Somebody told me Jack O'Reilly was there. Didn't see him. The line moves off pretty well, but they're, they're pretty strong, too, I tell you. Kenny Cole cuts it in for two or three yards. In the third quarter, 10 to 10. Okay, okay, I'll get back to you on Monday. Bye. Smile. It's five o'clock. Yeah. And it's Big run here, I'll tell you. And 
I end out there and I blocked the man back and made a hip on the sack of swing yards farther down the field. Ray Maxwell uh, saw him the other day, one of my favorite people. He was a great player at Alabama, steady as a clock. Well, he almost gets his head going off there. I think the quarterback should be protected after he's given the ball off like that. Third and one. Big play here, third and one, running behind Mott. Ed Cox and Vickers. Wilson. Wilson was injured late in the game. That was. Paul Carew. Paul Carew was running the ball. Bring it up to third and five. Third and five, that's a big one. We have two ends out. Coming off the ball. Nice block by Caruso over there. Nice run by the little man then. Great run there. Ken Coley. With 16 he's yards. A man, but he's a big man in heart. To the 16. That buckle of chin straps down here. Yeah? He forces us to run the wide, and uh, we couldn't do that. I mean, of course, that quarterback he goes. Push down the line. Now he looks up in there with the stop us again. So third down coming up. That's a big one. Ricky Moore ran with the ball, and it's on his headgear. Holcomb is stabbing it back. Grace Holy. And Terry Sanders, the freshman, from very high school, kicked the field. That's the first one he's attempted in college, isn't it, Coach? Yeah, I believe it is, Charlie. Funny thing, if he'd have been dressed, I'd have been a little stout boy kicking. He'd kick all time. He wouldn't try. Looks real like he's going to run out to a touchdown. Jim Bob Harris pulled him down. Down to 42 yards. So it's pretty dull from here, and except when you get out on that goal line, it's not very dull then. Boy, and Lyles made that tackle. Come back and make another one here. Over on the sideline, where he's running on one leg. One of our former assistants, Jet Rogers, was at the game. He's now employed as a TV expert. Since the cold Florida. Well, I want 20 now. First down. Which don't look off from behind a little bit. I think I think they got pretty tired in the game. Ricky Moore, a little football. That was a great effort for Mississippi State. That wasn't a bad block, but then it came in and just went over the top. Jackie Klein hit him and he go low. Uh, the Eddie low, excuse me. Eddie caught the ball in the air. Of course, defense can't run with a fumble. The offense can. But they want some exercise, I guess. Don't block him, Eddie. He's going that far. He's already still. Comes back to I-25. Good Carter. He didn't get much blocking there. Look at Danny's running with the ball. He has great effort, but look at 25 over Lenny Patrick. He made great, great effort to make a block. That's Joey Jones got one on the ground downfield. Two little men. Seventeen yards. Excellent run time. by Mickey Junior. Kenny Simon's running with the ball. We got whipped in the line there. They got some kind of that that little line back or some kind of line when I say it. Was that a line back there? They have a sound, solid football team. Very well coached. I thought Walter Lewis did well in not to get killed. Fourth and one. Fourth and one, he makes the first down here, but the time before, if he hadn't gotten back a couple of yards, we'd have done something different. Still out back here, we're keeping that in there pretty steady, not giving them ever just look at. Larry Brown, I think mean, he's a fine block in. I believe there's Steve Mott down to you knocking somebody down. He 
swung the ball to him again. And then Patrick making the run. A little fine play then by Russ Wood. Russ is from Elba. He was junior. He intercepted that one. It would have taken a lot of... They do a good job of passing that on that particular thing right there. They remind me of Tony Lassie. He blocked, trying to get together like covered quills and blocked out. Did it pretty well. Hope you didn't have a, a man back on this front. Well, when we were in Bama defense, and I was hoping to get Castillo back. I was trying to tell him, but I couldn't, uh, he couldn't hear me. That's not the way to do business anyway. So I was afraid he's going to get a, a big roll. Lenny Patrick running with a hook ball there. So we got an Alabama roll on it, Charlie. He did. Yep. Put sideways and back. Lenny Simon hit behind the line, and that gentleman knows something about tackling, so we're kicking now. Almost had that one blocked. We a little careless. Got to stop him. They have fine coverage then. That was P. Booker. Steve Booker down there. He goes all out. There's a little excitement starting now. This is a drive. And again. He has time. That's a fine pass. Our people didn't move much. He just hit that right in the middle of a bunch of them. Going back to pass again. There's another one we had a chance. We just intercepted to get. But I'm thankful for what we did. That was a great pass to him then by the defender, by the bond, the quarterback. Here comes the big play. Here comes the big one, the man crossing. Side step one of our men, and Jeremiah Castillo pulls him down. But it's first and goal on our nine. First and goal on the nine. Look at here, would you? He comes out this way, he throws. It's broken up by Jim Bob Harris. Big play with Jim Bob. Motion. Cross motion gives him what we call trip. Come this way again. If somebody went in his feet, he's going in his throat. Broken up again. I think uh, Eddie Lowe. Eddie Lowe and then uh, here comes a brilliant. Lowe Hello. taps it. That Wilcox gets it. Sudden change. Sudden change. Four people around the ball. Nice block there. Put both hands on it, Tommy. He's got them both on it. So he's got them both on it. He was genuine. So good. Now everybody's jumping around. Oh, well, we got to run the clock out. They had one time out left, so we could run the clock out. And nothing we could, they could do if we don't get a penalty and stop the clock. They, they called the time out and stopped it. We ran it out. And thus I bequeath my mansion, my automobiles, my stocks and bonds, and all my gold to my third cousin, Angela. Angela? Who has always shown exceptionally good taste. Golden Flake Corn Chips, the fresh, crisp, golden light taste your family will treasure. Golden Flake, good as gold. Here's a special message for all Central Bank Stoneware customers. December 24th is the final day to complete your set of elegant, durable stoneware. Get all the play settings you need, plus the completer pieces to grace your holiday table. Don't let this unforgettable offer slip by. Christmas Eve is the last day to get exquisite stoneware at great savings. Another good reason to bank at Central. There are no good reasons for Central Bank and you. Member FDIC. We've got a lot of players and coaches for you, Tommy. That's Tom good now. hands. Uh, he's in charge of the game. I thought he did an excellent job. I asked him to put uh, one in line out of one of our captains, and I know he did the other show with her. The other captain, Adam Gray, he was a senior one, he was a senior also. And uh, Bart Kraut, another senior. Birmingham. I asked him to put uh, our little Bama Flyers in there. The Dale White from Tuscaloosa. Some at Mississippi, they're all on the, the person coming up to it is the fly is starting to kick off, I think. I hope so. Lenny Patrick and Jasper. 
Yeah. 